Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So if you are using Google's AI chatbot, Google Gemini, just to let you know about a couple of changes that Google has made and is going to make to the AI chatbot. Now, first of all, something I did spot earlier today, which seems to be on a controlled rollout, is if we head to the chat box, previously we had our different categories like deep research, canvas and images with Imagine listed in the chat box as three different items. Now I see that Google has combined those into a new tools menu, which I actually think is a nice move. It just cleans up that chat box and gets rid of that clutter. And now if you click on tools, you've got deep research, canvas, images with Imagine. So I think that's definitely a step in the right direction and just unifying everything into one menu. And I'm not seeing this on all of my Google accounts, so it is on a controlled rollout currently. And then the next two new features are privacy features that I think are going to be quite useful. And at first, these will be rolling out to the Gemini app on mobile, but I think there's a good chance they will eventually make their way to the desktop version. First of all, the first privacy feature is temporary chats in Google's Gemini app which basically is a chat that disappears after a certain amount of time. So temporary chats will stay in the app for 72 hours, according to Google, and then they'll disappear and they'll be gone for good. And Google also says that the temporary chats won't influence your future conversations, which I actually think is a step in the right direction. And Google says in the small print here, in this image provided, temporary chats don't appear in recent chats or Gemini apps activity and aren't used to train models or personalize your experience. And as mentioned, chats are saved for 72 hours. So that's becoming available. And then the next privacy feature and the last feature we're going to look at for today's video is the next new setting is called Keep Activity. And it's going to replace the existing Gemini Apps Activity toggle, which has been a bit confusing up until now. And this new setting will be enabled by default and will allow Google to sample some of your conversations and uploads to train its AI models. And the setting is coming to Gemini next month, apparently in the Gemini app. And the good news is, as you can see, you have a toggle. So if you don't want your data used for this purpose, you'll need to turn it off. And if you had the old Gemini apps activity setting disabled, keep activity will also be disabled by default, which I think is a move in the right direction. So if you want to make this change, you can head into the Gemini app settings, find the personal context section, and then toggle it off using this toggle. And I think these are a couple of nice improvements to the Gemini app, which hopefully will make their way eventually to desktop. And if and when that does happen, I'll try and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.